afternoon. Welcome to the ninth annual spring recital for Doxa Arts Academy. Um, we have had a stellar year. We have over 250 students performing today. We had our music recital this morning, three different sessions, and now we've got our Esther Ballet and um, a musical theater production and an acro production and just lots of fun things for the, for the afternoon. Um, we're excited to present the story of Esther called the Queen of Deliverance. Um, and it's a wonderful story of a young lady who saved her people. And this is our version told through the story or told through the art of ballet. Um, it's directed by Leanne Staley and choreographed by Leanne, myself, and Miss Gina Watson. We also will have a, um, an acro production from Rio. Uh, there's lots of new skills. Be excited for our tumblers. Uh, several of them got their back handsprings and their aerials and back tucks and more. Their, their pieces are always super exciting. Uh, we're super excited to also announce that we have a new acro room coming. It's in the works this summer and we'll have floor-to-floor -floor mats and a lot more space. Um, we're also excited to present the musical theater production choreographed by Gina Watson to a, a montage of high school musical. <laughs> um, we have our largest graduating class this year. We have eight graduating seniors, and that is no small feat when it comes to extracurricular activities. Usually, Around the age of 16, life starts to demand things from them and they get jobs and they get cars and they trickle away. So to have eight people graduate from high school and finish out their 12 years of school still doing the things that they love is remarkable. So I'm gonna present those people to you really quickly and tell you a little bit about them. The first one is Grace Wells. Grace has been at DOXA from the very first year, beginning in our homeschool class, taking ballet, lyrical, and musical theater classes. She's also one of our beloved junior teachers, and she plans to attend Washita Baptist University in the fall with goals of becoming a music teacher. The next... <laughs> next graduating senior is Rebecca Shipley. Rebecca has been dancing at DOXA for two years now in our ballet program. She'll be attending John Brown University in the fall, and she plans to major in art and illustration as well as elementary education. <laughs> Following her is Ruth Polnow. Ruth joined DOXA after moving to the U.S. from Spain. She is a Fostering the Arts Scholarship recipient, and she plans to attend Pulaski Technical College in the fall for her basics, and then pursue special needs education. <laughs> Next is Ms. Lily New. Lily joined DOXA two years ago through our homeschool en enrichment program. She loves all things Jesus, horses, and nature. She's still seeking God's guidance for her future path, but enjoys volunteering with organizations such as Samaritan's Purse, American Heritage Girls, and Beach Outreach. <laughs> Mr. Seth Ness. Seth has been at DOXA since the very first year we opened. He began with our all boys class and transitioned to the musical theater program. He plans to pursue application with the Benton Police Department and would love to eventually be a school resource officer. <laughs> Miss Josie Hendrick. Josie has been with DOXA for eight years. She's currently an art teacher and a junior dance teacher. She plans to attend Southern Arkansas University to finish her basics and then pursue psychology and fine arts 
potentially being an art therapist. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth Burns. Liz came to us two years ago when her studio closed. She has been a joyful addition to our classes, and she plans to attend Hendrix College in the fall. Her major is undecided, but she plans to minor in dance with a future goal of being a dance therapist or own a studio. And Ms. Corley Bowman. Corley has been by my side from the beginning, learning and serving in all capacities. She's a talented dancer, classically trained pianist, and a nationally examined ballet dancer. She currently teaches dance and piano at DOXA, and she plans to attend Southern Arkansas University this next year, and then pursue physical therapy, personal training, and nutrition. First, let me say how proud I am of each and every one of you. You guys are stellar students. You've all been a pleasure to have in the classroom, and I'm honored to have been your teacher, as I know Miss Leanne and Miss Gina are. We uh, just feel privileged to have had a small part in your whole life story. And I'll leave you with this, which is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Can we give them another hand? Okay, next I want to recognize a group of students that are known as FTA ambassadors. They're fostering the arts ambassadors. They're students who um, help us raise money during the year to fund our scholarships. Um, we, as many of you know, Fostering the Arts is our nonprofit arm and it funds scholarships for children in foster care and children from lower income families. Um, some of them have been recipients of scholarships and want to give back and some of them just want to serve and have community service or make a way for other children to do what they're doing. So I'd first like to recognize Rebecca Shipley, who just stepped off the stage and is coming back. Olivia Goodman. <laughs> Lauren Oates. Sarah Ness. Helena Bach. <laughs> Isabel Staley. <laughs> Joelle Staley. <laughs> Remington Powell. <laughs> and Rhiannon Dixon. <laughs> Let's give them a round of applause. For the Today, I also want to honor Miss Leanne Staley, if she'd step out here really quickly. So each year we do a story ballet and it's directed by Leanne. She spends countless hours beginning pretty much right after the recital is over, planning and ordering and organizing all of the things. And how many hours do you think you spent on this one? We're counting at 100, so. Yeah, a whole lot, it's a whole lot. Anyway, we always honor her with a photo shoot of the main characters and they all sign um, a poster for her and we frame that. So I wanted to present that to you.